Welcome back to Diecast Resurrection. In today's video, we're gonna build a MASH era ambulance out of this little power wagon body. I believe this used to be a green light casting. That's pretty well all I have left of it. It's kind of been in the parts bin for a while. I think there might be a grill for it still. I have the glass. For the most part, we're only gonna be using the running boards, the front fenders, and from the back on, we're gonna to have to do some, a uh, little bit of construction using some styrene or whatever. We gotta make the ambulance body. Probably gonna be using a little bit more modern wheels and stuff, but uh, you'll see. So I think I'll just start by cutting this off where I need it, behind the cab here, and then from there I'll figure out how I'm gonna mount the rear wheels. So we'll get one of these. I'll just make the incision with my Dremel. Cool, so that's gonna be our cab. I'm gonna round out these. Make this, make this look a little bit nicer. I think those are gonna be sick. I found this nice long metal base here. I think I'm gonna be able to just kind of graft onto the back to be the uh, the back end. And then I got another set of these big meats for the backs. Hachoo! <laughs> Pretty happy with that, it's a good start. She's definitely, uh, definitely glued in place and no danger of that coming apart. Keep all the styrene on standby. Some like that. All right, that's the, basically the back of our truck. Boy, I haven't played with this stuff in a long time. I don't have any styrene glue, so I'm having to use CA glue for everything. And it's giving me little gaps. If we were using actual styrene glue, it would just kind of melt together. I shouldn't be calling it glue, it's more like cement. Pretty much just melts the two pieces together and it's really cool to use actually, so. I'm gonna have to get some next time because I plan on doing more stuff like this in the future. So if you're into this, Make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any cool builds. You know what I'm saying? I connected our two pieces together. Check this out. Boop. Fits on there nice. Might have to go a little bit freehand with that with our Dremel, but uh, that's the basic gist of it anyways. So I was using some of this styrene flat bar and I thought, hey, you know, this is gonna be super easy. I'm just gonna bend my styrene like this and I'm gonna glue it in place and I'm gonna make myself a nice little rear fender. Turns out, as soon as you touch CA glue to this stuff, it just wants to break, believe it or not. So I, I struggled for the last half hour or so. I was making an arch, getting it in place, and as soon as I touched glue to it, it would just go pop and snap and just, it was, it was weird, man. So I have to come up with another solution. So I'm using the top of a bottle here. You can see there's like one thread on these caps. And so I'm just taking the very top of it and I'm thinking I'm gonna glue this in place and then I should be able to trim it and do some sanding. See if I can't get rid of these little ridges right now, actually.
Well, it looks pretty good though. I think we're going to be just fine. Before we go to paint, obviously we're going to kind of go over the whole thing with some putty and clean up any gaps. Most of these gaps you see actually are filled with glue, so it shouldn't be too bad cleaning this one up once we're done. But that's one of my rear wheel wells. So I think that looks pretty decent. Half a cap from a glue container that I uh, just took the back of. Boop, just like that. I have to modify that wheel well a little bit, but that's to put on them big old, big old bushwhacker flares in the back. This part might seem kind of crazy to some of you guys, but uh, I'm going for the, you know the real details here, man. And the top of these things almost looks like they tried to make them aerodynamic a little bit, blend the cab into the back. So I'm gonna do that with putty here. I'll try to try to keep it all together as best I can. I think that's starting to look pretty decent. I'm gonna take this down a little bit more. Try to keep this nice and sharp, nice and crisp. It took me quite a while to get to this point. This putty turns rock solid. So it's a little bit hard to work with sometimes. But I think she's looking not too bad. I want to, I'm gonna put some uh, Tamiya putty now, I think. Where my putty is. This video has been taking me a long time to get out. I know I've, I haven't been super active on the YouTubes lately and uh, I've kind of taken a little bit of time to do some like self-care. Ever since I started doing this YouTube stuff, um, you know, pretty much full time. It's my only income. My health has been kind of going downhill because I'm not as active as I used to be. Because I'm always on the computer. You know, I'm always sitting at a bench here and I'm using more chemicals. Never really realized how much exercise you get from your 9 to 5 job, so... Recently, I've quit smoking, you know, I've cut back on the drinking, I'm trying to get more healthy. Not that any of these things were a problem before, but I'm getting older now, and, uh, you know, especially with not getting as much exercise, I'm not recovering from stuff as quick as I used to, so. You know, I'd like to continue doing this for a while, and I noticed I was getting sick all the time and whatnot, you know. My voice probably sounds a lot more clear than the beginning of this video, or just because it was filmed... I started this project, you know, four or five days before. So it's kind of picking up where I left off about a week later on this thing. So why did I put so much putty on here? I don't know. If we can get it all worked down again, she's going to be real sweet. But I wasn't done. i got to put some stuff on the sides still. Well, she's starting to take shape now. I decided I'm going to redo the wheel wells. These current wheel wells were going to cause the wheels to stick out a little bit too much, so I elected to pull them out and I'm just going to redo them. It's just finishing up a little bit of body work here. It's really taking shape. I think she's looking pretty good. This is all blended in real nice. So I figured rather than cutting a big hole in the back, all I was going to do was drill holes where the windows were going to go. And then we can just surface mount these doors and it's going to look like the real deal because they just had big plate doors on the back pretty much. It's going to be cool.
I think I'm ready to go do a couple coats of sealer. I'm going to use a gray sealer and I just want to see how well this is going to paint. Once I get some sealer on there and it's all the same color, then I'll really know if we need to do a little bit more body work, any more little, if we got pinholes to fill or anything like that. So, so I'm going to head to the spray booth. We'll give this a spray and we'll see how our body works looking after it's all one color. Okay. Feels real nice. Bro, that's looking pretty good so far, I think. Got a couple pinholes to clean up, but uh, generally, my body isn't looking too bad. I'm pretty happy with the way the roof and everything turned out. All right, got a little bit more sanding to do, and then I'm gonna put the doors on, I think. And before I head over to paint, I have a grill I'd like to install. Oop. These lights and grill and stuff are from the original model. And this model also comes with this little engine panel we're gonna install after everything else is green. We can install that before we plug this together, but we also need a flat bumper on the front of this bad boy. Gonna try and mimic that same mixture we did the other day here. Good glob of black. It's probably gonna be too dark, but that's okay. We can add some more green if we need to. We'll add our medium. Whoop. Remember, if you guys ever have any questions about mixing Createx paint or whatever, just check out the Createx YouTube channel. They got mixing instructions for everything, demonstrations, how to mix candies, etc. They'll even teach you how to do some cool painting tricks and stuff there. So I pop in there every once in a while just to see if there's anything new going on. Now that we've added our medium, this goes from being basically art paint to automotive paint. I'll just reduce this a little bit. There we go, that's gonna be ready to spray as is. So I guess we'll take this, take these doors, I stuck them on a piece of tape so I can kind of manage them. And I'll meet you guys in the spray booth.
Today we're using uh, 3M Scotch Cal Vinyl. This is basically the same stuff that they wrap vehicles with. So it is, uh, I don't know what you want to call it, maybe like a semi-permanent vinyl. And I've never actually stuck it to this clear coat before, so I'm not exactly sure how this is going to go, but I guess we're going to find out. So maybe I'll start on the roof, because that'll probably be the easiest to fix if this vinyl totally messes up things. I think for my design, I'm going to do two small crosses on the back instead of doing the one big one. They had one big, I think on the mass show, they had a big one that kind of covered the windows even. This is another style they did. I don't know if it was used as much in the show, but to be honest, I never really watched the show. It's right on the edge of being too young. Boom. Beautiful. It's pretty tricky. I had to line up these crosses blind, as you can see with this black stencil. See how we did. Not too bad, not too bad. Careful, careful. Not as good, but I'll take it. I'm gonna go give this one last clear coat with uh, the matte finish, and then I'll do an assembly and put it on the rotisserie for you guys, okay? Check it out guys, here's my version of a MASH era ambulance with some mild suspension tweaks, some mudder tires. I think it looks tough as nails. I absolutely love it. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you leave a like to support the channel. Say hello in the comments and I'll see you guys on the next build. See you later, bye guys.